We had Martin from IDA Ireland in a panel discussion today. Can you tell us a bit about what uh, he was talking about in terms of the IDA's role in, in this area? Yeah, so I think the question he was asked is what's Ireland's play in the Internet of Things broadly and, and I think what he said succinctly is a colleague of mine summed it up really well as uh, we think Ireland is a great play at all the different layers of the Internet of Things and fundamentally that's the devices to collect data, so sensor devices and others, the networks to communicate that data back to central points, and then the analytics to look at that data and to make relevant and insightful uh, conclusions from it, and to actuate change back in the built environment based on what's analyzed. So, and, and the way we summarize that is collect, connect, and transform. And I mean, what was mentioned also on the panel a lot was the acquisition of Movidius recently by Intel, which is a huge deal in the Irish tech community. Uh, how important is it for you to sell Ireland as an IoT base that an indigenous company reaches that kind of level? Yeah, Movidius is a great Irish company and it's a brilliant success story. So really important for us. The two, two of the key trends we're seeing at the moment are Internet of Things, which we're talking about here today, and artificial intelligence. And if you take it one step further, computer vision is another technology that's on everyone's lips at the moment. Movidius covers all three of those. So it's an Internet of Things device with very advanced computer, computer vision and really strong artificial intelligence capabilities. And if you look at those three, every company we meet is talking about one or all of those three. So really important for us that the Irish ecosystem can throw up a real global leader. And, and I don't think it was an overnight success. You know, it's a long commitment from the people involved with the company. They came out of previous ecosystems. They're very supported by an ecosystem like Tyndall in having done it. So, you know, creating that environment, and, and it probably goes back uh, 30, 35 years to the inception of Tyndall, actually, to when that microelectronics cluster really started to take off. So very important for us to be able to point to all of that as a value proposition for Ireland. And in terms of the ecosystem, what you've mentioned there, we have an entrepreneurial spirit, we have successful entrepreneurs, and we have research bases and academic institutions supporting them. Are there any other infrastructural uh, highs or lows uh, that you guys are monitoring at the moment? Yeah, infrastructural highs in Ireland, I'd say, were a great place to test things. And I think that was mentioned by Martin, it was mentioned by Mark Ferguson on the panel as well, that Ireland, uh, and the way we say it, is small enough to trial, large enough to prove. You know, so Ireland is a place where we have a huge concentration of the best companies in the world in a very small country. You can make connections in Ireland that you can't make anywhere else. Um, and we're proving that through test bedding in particular. So if you look at some of the really interesting test beds, Pervasive Nation, which was recently funded by Science Foundation Ireland, is going to give a na nationwide test bed for Internet of Things. Vodafone and EMC came together last year to create a test bed for Internet of Things. Uh, VT Networks are here today talking about their test bed for Internet of Things. So there's three connectivity test beds alone, leaving aside the other things that are operating in Ireland. To take another example, Smart Dublin, Jamie Cudden is organising a, a, a forum later on this week actually, where they're bringing together a lot of the innovations that have been trialled in Dublin City as a built environment. So I think that understanding business needs to prove technologies is, is where I think we'll be very successful in the next couple of years. We want to become a hub for companies to grow and commercialise their offerings. And in terms of challenges in uh, achieving those goals, is there any that you foresee down the line? For, for the world globally, I think a supply of engineers to actually meet the needs and build the technologies is, is a big challenge. I think uh, in Ireland specifically, um, there aren't any that I see. I think we've got a science system that's, that's on top of these things. We've created the Connect Centre, which was, which was an Internet of Things focused centre. We are reacting to the skills demand as well. Ireland has grown the number of computer science enrolments by close to 20% over the last five years. So we're acting, reacting the right way. I think if there's a deficit, I'd say we'd like to be able to meet more of global demand than we do today. But as Martin said, we do better, better than average. Enjoy this video? Click here to get the latest news from SiliconRepublic.com and go find us on social media.